The last night of digging. Police are on the verge of cracking a 15-year-old cold case tonight in South Tulsa. Investigators say they're in the home stretch in the search for six-year-old Ashani Creighton of Florida. She's been missing since 1997. A credible tip led Florida investigators to Tulsa. Tune News reporter Brian Palmerini is live at 61st and Mingo with the latest on this developing story. Well, archaeologists are inside this building right now looking for answers that may have been paved over. Now, the search so far has led to several holes, but they say they are cautiously optimistic. <laughs> Crews are not going to stop searching until they've exhausted all of their options. We have to keep focused that we're looking for a six-year-old girl. And if this was any one of your viewers or mine or anybody else's child, do you want me to stop because we've just simply, it's reached 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night? No, the answer is no. Ground penetrating radar and cadaver dogs have led to several areas of interest. Several holes were jackhammered into the ground of these local businesses. Crews are now working on their second expanded archaeological dig. I go in and actually physically investigate those. We slowly excavate. And I can tell by looking at the, the characteristics of the soil, whether it's been disturbed. Crews say the entire process continues to be an emotional roller coaster. You get excited, you think it's great, you find out that it's uh, broken up concrete or a PVC line or an old plumbing line or just disturbed soil. Investigators say unless they find a Shawnee, this search will soon come to an end because they're running out of room. So once we examine all that and nothing's been found, we don't have anywhere else to look. But Detective Robinson says, bottom line, the tip that led them here is solid. There's no doubt in my mind that a Shawnee crate is, is at this property. It's going to be a, a manner of whether technology can find her. Investigators say they will be working throughout the night and into the morning, and they will expect to wrap up before tomorrow morning because they will, again, run out of space to search unless they find a Shawnee. Live in South Tulsa, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.